Hey guys, Dan here from Daniel Norris Effects, and today I'm going to be doing a microphone comparison between the Rode NTG2 and the Yoga Studio microphone. Now, before you leave comments saying this is a really unfair or irrelevant comparison, hear me out. The reason I'm comparing these two particular microphones is because up till now, all the voiceovers for my reviews and videos like that have been done using the Rode NTG2 in this similar format or in this similar way, which is not really the way you're supposed to use a shotgun mic. I mean, you can, you know, I've, I've proved it, you can use it that way, but it's not really the way it's supposed to be used. It's meant for on-set sound recording, really. Whereas a studio microphone like this is made for doing voiceover work in a controlled studio environment and not on set. So they are two immensely different tools for essentially capturing the same thing, good clean audio. But the reason I want to compare them right now is because I want to see what the difference in not just sound quality, but mainly in the difference in feel of the audio, because typically shotgun mics have a very concentrated kind of sound quality to them, which is kind of what you want when you're out in a sort of wide open space. Whereas studio cardioid microphones like this one have a more rich sound with a lot of depth to them. So that's what this comparison is about. It's mainly so I can see the difference between these two microphones to see which one will be better for doing what I need to. Oh, and in case anyone is interested, the price gap between these two is quite wide because we're talking £35 for the Yoga and approximately £150 for the NTG2 at the time when I bought it. So there's obviously going to be some differences in quality, but I more or less just want to see how much really. So let's get to it. Okay, so right now you are hearing me through the Rode NTG2 at around six inches from the microphone. Uh, for those interested, I'm recording into the Tascam DR40 in, and it's set to WAV 16-bit 48K and the low cut filter is off. Okay, and now you are hearing me through the Yoga Studio mic at roughly six inches. Uh, and also, if you're interested, it is through the Tascam DR40 that's recording at WAV 16-bit at 48K. Okay, I know in my last test I did a lot of distance uh, comparisons as well, where I went from 2 feet to 5 feet, 10 feet, whatever. Now, with these microphones, especially the studio mic, this is not really a viable test or a fair test as... With studio microphones, you are meant to be right up close to the microphone. But in honor, in honor of this tradition, I will do a simple two foot, four foot test, just you know, to, just so you can see the differences between a studio and a shotgun mic. Okay, right now you're hearing me through the Rode NTG2 through the Tascam DR40, and both microphones are set to seventy percent gain. And now you're hearing me through the Yoga Studio mic through the Tascam DR40, set to seventy percent gain. Okay, now I'm roughly two feet away from the microphones. You're hearing me through the Rode NTG2 through the Tascam DR40 at 70% gain. And now you're hearing me through the Yoga Studio mic through the Tascam DR40 at 70% gain. Okay, now I'm roughly three to four feet away from the microphones. Uh, so now you're hearing me through the Rode NTG2 through the Tascam DR40 at 70% gain. And now you're hearing me through the Yoga Studio mic through the Tascam DR40 at 70% gain. Okay, so you can see there that there are very big differences between both microphones. I could see on the Tascam itself, the waveform was just absolutely chalk and cheese between the diff of the di with the differences between the two microphones. Okay, for the final test, I thought in in the spirit of the novelty fun design of the yoga, I thought I would get some song lyrics, and. I'd have a little go at singing for you. Now, I just want to warn you right now, I am not a singer. I've never claimed to be a singer, and I'm not even going to attempt to try to get into singing. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a go at this now, and just we'll see how it sounds. And I apologise if it results in your ears bleeding. This is The Fresh Prince of Ballet. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Belair.
in West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and else, shooting some b-ball outside of the school, when a couple of guys that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and she said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate says fresh and tired dice in the mirror. If anything, then I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it, you're home to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about 7 or 8 and I yelled to the cabbie, yo ho, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne and I'm the Prince of Bel Air. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed hearing me embarrass myself, you know, royally. <laughs> um, well, let me know if you enjoyed my second, I don't know, you know, I... I don't know how I sound. I To me, I sound horrible, but anyway. Let me know what you thought about this review in comparison. There isn't going to be many like this because I don't really have a lot of microphones. I've already reviewed all the ones I have, and the other cardioid mic I have, if I get that fixed, I will do a comparison between this and that. Which is the Samsung C... C01, I think? So, uh, I'm Dan from Dan and Ars Effects. I'm sorry if you didn't like my singing, but if you did, please let me know. And I shall see you in the next video. But, <coughs> but, pardon me. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license said, "Yeah." I I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license said, "Yeah." I can't say that. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Oh God, I'm so gonna hear about this in the comments section.